is a bee hack. Big, hairy, audacious. Now let's be honest. How many of you have a bee hag hiding in a closet in the very dark part of your basement with a big sign across the front of it that says, I feel really guilty about this. So stay tuned, we're gonna talk about a couple of things about how to take a grasp of that bee hag and actually move it forward out of that closet. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jamie. This channel is all about us ladies finding our inner spark and finding our badass. That's right, <laughs> badass. This channel, what you're gonna see is videos with tips and tricks with Jamie. You're also gonna see some workouts that you can do from home or in the gym. Could be strength or some hip hop cardio or booty shaking workouts. If this is the channel for you, please make sure you go hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up on the video. Write any comments below to let me know other topics that you would like to discuss. Hang tight. This episode is our second in our installment of Building Healthy Habits. And for this week, we are going to continue on with how in the world do we do those habits? And we're going to focus on those BHAGs, those big, hairy, audacious goals. And I say that we all have them. They're all hanging down in our lower area of our basement in the really dark and damp and, and dusty area. And it's got this huge caution tape across the front of it with a big sign that says, I am so guilty because I can't do anything with this BHAG. Am I the only one? I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> so like, let's talk about a couple of examples. So here's, here's one that's a really easy one. So you've got this book, right? Sitting on your nightstand and you're like, I am gonna read this book. So you go to sit down and just the thought of reading a chapter in that book is like so daunting, right? And then what ends up happening? You don't read it kind of freeze up and you're like, mm. you get that inner dialogue inside your brain that's telling you, well, if I don't have time to read a full chapter, I might as well not read any of it. I might as well just try again tomorrow. Do you all have the try again Mondays? I have the try again Monday. If you're like, girl, yeah, yeah, that, that's me. That's me. I want you to stay tuned. Got a couple more. I have been here so many times. You pick this really lofty goal and you rush right into it, right? It's like, I've got this and I'm going to go full force with this. And then you hit this roadblock or you get frozen on where do you start? I have found that when I try to go really big, that I'm setting myself up for failure right at the start. And I'm more likely to quit. Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't set goals. We should set goals. We should set BHAGs. But when we start to work on these goals, the key is about breaking it down into bite-sized pieces. Here's a really good example that I think we all of us ladies have experienced at some point. So you wake up, it's Saturday, you've eaten like trash like all week, and you weigh yourself and you're like, what is that? And you make this decision that you're gonna go on this very strict diet and it could look like you know, sometimes for me, I'm like, I'm going to have no sugar or I'm only going to eat green stuff <laughs> or I'm only going to have this and it's going to be just protein or I'm only going to drink shakes. Have you ever done that? Like, I'm only going to have shakes all day long and you're going to start it on Monday. Now, I'm going to ask myself and you ask yourself, how long does that last? <laughs> right? You wake up Monday and you are raring to go and I usually make it to about, I don't know, 9 30 10 o'clock and then it's done am i the only one but what's happened here is i have set myself up for a very unrealistic goal right out of the gate right i'm setting these high constraints into this really big goal saying that i'm going to do this 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 and this and not this 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 and this and oh by the way it's going to start on monday so what would happen if i took that BHAG of i'm going to eat completely healthy on monday and broke it down into bite-sized pieces what if I said to myself, okay, let's do this, but let's do this in pieces that are manageable. Like maybe today eat something that's green or maybe replace that cup of coffee with a cup of water. Bite size, manageable, helps us build habits. Let's do another example. How many of you all, and it's typically December 31st. You probably already know where I'm going and you're like, I am going to do a workout. I'm going to do 
all kinds of workouts and I'm going to work out every day of the week. And it's going to start on January 1st. If you are a regular gym goer, you do know that when January rolls around, it's like packed. It's packed. But you get to about the second week, third week of January, not so much. So what's going on there? Do we set too lofty of a goal when we say, girl, we're going to go work out every single day? Yes. What would happen if instead of setting that big hack of I'm going to work out every day, what if we said to ourselves, we're just going to do a 10 minute move and that could be anything. It could be parking our car further away in a parking spot. It could be taking the stairs. It could be walking during our break at work. Take that BHAG and put it into some bite-sized pieces. Specific to my weight loss and fitness journey, I kind of wanted to talk to you a little bit about how I've handled my BHAGs. I have tried probably everything that's on the market. Uh, you know, shakes, bars, protein bars, macro planning, macro dieting, pre-planning my meals, getting frozen meals, neutral, I mean, you name it, you know I've gotten it. And I can remember this one time that I ordered, I got, I watched this infomercial, and let me just tell you, they're good, I don't know, I'm, I, info commercials are good. They sell you, right? So I'm watching this info commercial, and I'm like, I have to have the system. This is the thing that's gonna save me. So I go, order this little sucker, super excited, finally get it in the mail, it comes in, I open it up. It is about 42 different steps. What ended up happening is the containers and the instructions didn't even leave the box and it might still be sitting on my dining room table. Has that happened to you? The good thing, I guess, is that I do like info commercials and I do like watching what other people are doing and I like trying things. And I was able to find a system that worked for me. One of the reasons why it worked so well for me is because it was simple. It was three steps before I even left the house. And the really cool thing about this system, it didn't ask me to make major lifestyle changes. It was take the three products and let's see how you feel. And the really cool thing is, is that I found that I didn't have cravings and I had no desire for coffee or soda, which is about the most bizarre thing ever. And what started to happen is, is that I started making changes in my lifestyle versus it being something that was kind of forced upon. It was the craziest. Okay, now go grab a pen and a piece of paper. I'll wait for you. We're going to do one together. So we're specifically going to talk about the steps. There's only four of them. Four steps on how to take that BHAG and put it into bite-sized pieces. Are you ready? So number one, I want you to write down one BHAG that you currently have. What is one lofty goal that you're like, I have been trying to be able to do this forever. It is way in that dusty corner of your basement <laughs> and you feel guilty as crap that you haven't either started on it or been able to stick with it or it's one of those things that just keeps coming back every January. Write that down. Now number two, we are gonna start the process of breaking that down into smaller pieces. Have you heard the saying, keep it simple, silly? Keep it simple, silly. That's such a great statement. Start small. Find the simplicity of it. How can you make it simple? How can you take that BHAG and put it into little pieces and that each piece you're like, huh, I can do that. Don't overcomplicate it. I see you right now. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't think about it. Mm -mm. Five, four, three, two, one. Think about it. Mm -mm. Don't overcomplicate it. There is no special number or limit on how many bite-sized pieces you can have. It could be one. It could be three. It could be 42. Number three. You see the first one you wrote down? Start it tomorrow. Hold up now, Jamie. Don't be getting all excited. Let's do this. We're going to break these into small enough pieces that it's manageable that we can put this piece right into our lifestyle. Number four, don't move off the first bite until it's become a routine. You want that habit to be established. You want to get to the point where you don't even think about it. Do not increase or move on to the next step until that first bite size piece is just a normal part of your life. How do you know that it's become your new norm? You stop thinking about it and you just do it. Okay, so let's work through these tips with an example. So for me, one of my BHAGs was is that I wanted to get to the point where I drank water 
every day, all day, no sodas, no coffee. And you're like, let me just tell you, that was a hard one, right? And it took a long time for me to be able to introduce my life because I wanted to go straight into that BHAG and say, I'm going to do this on Monday. And you would get to about nine o'clock and your brain would be about to pop out of your head with no caffeine. <laughs> And so that BHAG would end up in my basement, dusty, with a big guilty sign on it. I knew I wanted to do it. I knew that's what my body needed, but I could not figure out how to make it happen. So for tip number one, I identified what my BHAG was. For tip number two, I looked at that and said, now how can I break that down into a bite-sized piece that is manageable for me to start on Monday? So what I did is break that down into a bite-sized piece that I would drink three glasses of water a day. I did not have to replace anything else. I could still have everything else, but I had to drink three cups of water. So once I decided that I was gonna add the three, I started. I started the very next day. And one of the things that I did do is I prepared three cups of water the night before because I like it really cold. So I put ice water in the refrigerator in three cups. They were kind of cute little, you know, because I like sugar cups, but put three cups of water in there. So number one, everything was all prepared for the next day. It was easy. Open the refrigerator. It's already made up. Grab it and go. But second off, visually, I could see my win. I could see when I got to that last one that I could celebrate each day that I had been able to do my bite-sized piece. And then with tip number four, I stayed here until those three cups of water were norm. It was the norm. I was actually looking forward to grabbing them and I started to even see that I was decreasing my other drinks to get those three in. And that at that point, that's when I looked at my next bite-sized piece. So my next bite-sized piece was, okay, now you're gonna drink four cups of water each day. And you can see how that BHAG very much can attack it from that bite-sized pieces. Once you get those first few BHAGs under your belt and broken down into some manageable bite-sized pieces, this process becomes much easier. Do you have a BHAG in mind that you would like to break down? I have created a worksheet that will help you do this. If you go look in the comments, there will be a link that you can click on that will allow you to download and print out and start the process of breaking down your BHAG. If you have a BHAG that you're like, girl, I don't even know where to start with this one, why don't you send me a message? Let's connect, let's chat. We can totally attack this one together. Okay guys, so that is it for episode two in our series of building healthy habits all about those BHAGs and what the heck to do with them. If you guys have any questions, please leave them below. Make comments, let's talk to each other people. So what's your BHAG? Leave a comment below. I guarantee if you have it and you figured out how to break down, there's probably another lady who's watching this video that's like, I need help. And it would be great to be able to start a community below of how and what and tips that you use to be able to break it down into bite-sized pieces. Ladies, this wraps up episode two in our series of Building Healthy Habits. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Next week, we move on to episode number three. We will continue with discussing how to build healthy habits. If you all have any questions, please let me know. Any comments, please leave them below. Thanks, guys.